Hey guys, Cameron of the series premiere of the new Fox show Pitch, and I was definitely really looking forward uh, to this show. Probably one of the most anticipated premieres of uh, the new shows coming out this fall. It looks very promising, and I remember this was supposed to come out in January, but I believe they moved to fall because of how many people were really looking forward to it, and that alone definitely got me excited. But then I heard it was at Comic Con, and so many people were talking about how great it was, so. I definitely was looking forward to the show. Also, the fact it was created by Dan Fogelman, who we know did the pilot of This Is Us, so this premiere really did have a lot to live up to, and I have to say that I thought this was a really great star. I really did love the way this show is done. I don't think it's perfect, necessarily, but I really do love uh, the way this uh, premiere was done. But let's get to the plot of Pitch Overall, which, by the way, I've decided that this is not a show I'm going to review weekly. I was going to, but I think this is just a show that I'll have more to say about if I review the season, so I'm probably going to do that. But let's get to the plot. Basically, the plot is we focus on this girl, Jenny Baker, who is uh, basically noted for being the first woman to play in the league. I don't know if this is based on true story, but she's chosen to play for the San Diego Padres, and basically she has this huge following, and everyone loves her, and pretty much it is her first uh, day basically playing in the World Series for the Padres, and that is the plot of the show overall, uh, for this episode at least, but let's get more into the show talking about the cast. So the one thing I was really interested in is its main lead, Kylie Bunbury, who I heard was getting tons of praise. So many people were talking about, oh, she's going to be the next big thing. She's the next star. And I have to say that everyone was absolutely right. Kylie Burnberry absolutely kills this role. Now, I've seen her in other things. I've seen her in that show Twisted on uh, ABC Family or Freeform, whatever you want to call it. And she was great on that show. But this, I think, is going to be her role. Like, when people think of Kylie Bunbury, they're going to say, oh, yeah, the girl that played Jenny Baker because she has it down to a T. I mean... This is, again, I don't know if this is based on true story. I don't believe it is. I know the character isn't real, but I do think that a scenario like this happened. And the thing that Kylie Bunbury just does so great is facial reactions. I mean, this entire episode, you can just tell she is in that character. And she is playing Kylie Bunbury, and I think she did an incredible job. I love the way she she portrayed her character in this first episode. And Jenny Bun uh, you know, Baker in general, is a very complex character. This is someone who we can tell has you know, oozes out all this confidence, it seems, at first, and kind of seems like, you know, she really doesn't know what she's doing, and she's very excited to do this, but then when we get more into her history, we kind of realize she was kind of forced into this life, and she very much feels like she was, basically, didn't really have a choice to become this baseball player, but this is where her life is at, she knows she can't really change it, and... There's some great scenes with her, though. What I really loved about her character the most is her vulnerability. She's a very human character in the sense of a scene like her, you know, putting the water on her face, you know, trying to, uh, you know, contain herself and not let herself freak out and just, you know, not really believing that she has a confidence or understanding why people don't like her. And I thought she did an incredible job with that. I really love her character overall. I thought that she was incredible in this show, and I can't wait to see where she goes. She alone is enough of a reason for me to recommend the show because she is just fantastic as this character. I think that, like I said, she is going to be the next big thing, and I can't wait to see where her character goes uh, as the show progresses. But I think just as good as her is Mark Paul Gosler as Mike Lawson. I really do love his character overall. I mean, this is a very unapologetic character who is very inexperienced inex in what he's doing. He, I believe, is the captain of the Padres overall, and I really did like his character. I like his relation with Jenny because at first it seemed, like, it seemed a little bit pervy, but you can tell that that's kind of his nature. You know, he's someone who, he's kind of a touchy-feely guy, and he very much likes to be very casual about things, but at the same time, he doesn't put up with bullshit, and he likes to be the man in charge, and that's understandable. I mean, he's a team captain, he's used to doing that, and he gives this this one scene where he gives this speech to Jenny. I thought he was fantastic. I can't wait to get more into his life, and uh, I thought he overall was really great. Real love what he had to do on the show, and like I said, their relationship overall, I thought was very well established in this first episode, and I really love uh, what they did there. Um, Mark Consuelos as well in the show as Oscar didn't leave a huge impression on me, but overall I thought he did a pretty good job. I like what he had to do here. He definitely was really good. But the character I really did love in this uh, first episode that we got to meet was Mo McRae as a character of Blip. I thought that this character was fantastic. I really love what we found out about this character. This is someone who, I guess when Jenny was a young girl, she used to play, you know, baseball with, and he is someone who, when she's down and, uh, you know, no one supports 
supporting her, he's still supporting her, and I can't wait to get more into their past. I feel like we are gonna find out more about them and their relationship overall. I really love this character. I can't wait to see more of what's going on with him. And then Megan Holder is his wife. I feel like there's definitely gonna be a lot more going on with Blip than we think, and I like how he's one of the only guys that is not just thinking of her as the first woman to play baseball, but he's also one of the guys who has a bunch of confidence in her. The other ones really don't. Well, I think Mike does. You know, Mike at least wants her to do well, but the rest of the guys pretty much just want her to... And they just see her as how the public does. And that's understandable. But Blip is someone who sees her as a very promising baseball player. And someone who could actually do really well. And I really did love what he had to do in this show. I thought he was fantastic. And I can't wait to see more of him um, when the show goes on. However, the character that I'm most interested in seeing more of is Michael Beach as Bill Baker, who is Jenny's very uh, controlling and manipulative father. I mean, the second he's introduced, you can see that he sees her as a star. And he's kind of, I wouldn't say a stage parent, because of obviously she's not on the stage, but he's kind of a soccer dad. Not a soccer mom, but a soccer dad, in the sense that he, you know, is so focused on baseball, he wants everything, he wants his kids to be baseball players, and he'll do anything he can to paint his daughter as one and I thought they established a relationship very well, just showing how destructive and controlling he was and how she really didn't have a say in most of this. I thought it was really interesting because I actually thought this premiere was going to be very different. I thought that we were going to see mainly their relationship, and we did in the flashbacks, but then when we got to the present, um, I'm like, all right, this is going to be mainly their relationship, but then, spoiler alert, in the first episode, um, which this is spoiler, guys, if you, if this is actually a huge spoiler. If you guys haven't seen this first episode, don't listen to the rest of what I'm going to say um but anyway of course we found out in this first episode that he's actually dead that jenny is imagining him and that he's kind of the thing that makes her so vulnerable because she very much feels like she was coerced into doing this by her father and that she didn't really do this by choice and She's not wrong. I mean, we see a scene in the show where, uh, you know, no matter what happens, it's like back to baseball, back to baseball. There's a scene in the show where he hits her brother just to motivate her, and I thought it was a very interesting scene overall. I can't wait to get more into their relationship because that is a whole different thing, and especially the fact that she's imagining him. There's obviously a lot of unfinished business there, and again, you know, the fact that he's dead, I think, added a lot of weight to this relationship overall. He obviously had a real hand on her and really did make her the woman she is today, and I think definitely their relationship is probably going to be one of the most essential parts of this entire series, and I hope that we get a lot of him. I'm sure we will, but I, I hope we get a lot more of him because the actor, not only is so great as a character, but it really adds to Jenny's character development overall and makes her so interesting and so vulnerable, and it's definitely one of the highlights of the show that I can't wait to see where it goes from here. The only characters I'm not a huge fan of in the show are the social media savvy managers and the ones that are focused on the fame, and some of the baseball players can get a little bit annoying, like the one that replaced Jenny. I understand, obviously, why he's upset, but come on, calling her a bitch, things like that, I don't really understand. I thought that was a little bit... Uh, I really wasn't as into that. And then some of the owners in the show, uh, there's one character that's trying to run the Padres manager, Al, out of business, and I don't really think he's gonna do that, he's gonna succeed, but we'll have to see where that goes. I will say, though, there wasn't really an overtly annoying character. I thought overall the characters are fine. Amelia's character, I really do like as well. I think that she definitely is a bit controlling, and she's kind of like Bill in a sense, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of her. I'm just worried that she's going to get a little bit annoying. We'll have to see where she goes overall. I just felt that some of the characters here, like I said, were a little bit annoying, kind of detract a little bit from the show, and I kind of want a little more time spent on Jenny and less time focused on all of this, you know, Padre manager stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Not that that's bad, but I just felt this episode should have focused a little more on her and less on that. I, I don't really, have a, it, you know, it's not really a huge complaint, but Jenny was such an interesting character that I wish this entire first episode was just kind of revolved around her, because I think it just would have made more sense to do that than focus on the managers, but overall, I really do love this cast overall. I think everyone really did do a great job. Even the characters I didn't really like, they still really did a great job. I think this is a very promising cast, and I can't wait to see more of their characters, you know, when the show goes on, especially Kylie Bunbury alone is enough for me to recommend this show. 
So the acting is really good, but I definitely do want to talk about the directing and the writing, because I think the directing here is very realistic directing. I mean, especially the way that the show is done, it very much feels like it's based on a true story, and I think it's supposed to feel that way. Jenny Baker feels like a character that I'm surprised isn't around yet. I'm surprised there hasn't been that first woman in the baseball league. I don't think there is one right now, and I don't know if that's true, but I don't think there is, and I think it's interesting how the show really did do that, and I think the tone here is really great. You know, you have all the great stuff that makes a you know, something that's a um, historical drama, which this obviously isn't a historical drama, it feels that way, but it also is a great drama in its own. I mean, this is a very interesting story, I was into it the whole time, and I thought they did a very good job with that, but the writing is really what I want to talk about. The writing in the show, I thought, was just top-notch. I mean, the fact that we get everyone's opinion, and especially the audience in general actually play a huge role in the show because one of the biggest parts of the show is how the public is personifying Jenny as this huge star and how that, you know, pers you know, how that personification really is weighing on her as a person. I mean, she's expected to be this pro baseball player who is destined to prove everyone wrong. I mean, there is a lot weighing on her and that is a lot to depend on one person and she definitely does feel that and I think the way they wrote that was very well done because other shows could put it as very very one-sided and just make the public as just a part of the show, but this show did a very good job in making it part of her psyche and the way that she thinks and kind of the thing that drives her. It's her driving, you know, it's it's her driving point, but it's also the thing that kind of destructs her as well. And I think a great way of showing that was the scene with her losing the game. I mean, it does show that she's not the greatest, that she's not the best player out there, and that everyone sees her as this star when really she's just a person. She's a person who happens to be very good at baseball that was forced into doing it by her father and doesn't really know if this is where she wants to go. I mean, we know she really does love, we know she really loves baseball, but the question is, is she, you know, really the star that her father thinks she is? And I think that's something that definitely, like I said, is weighing on her a bit, and something that's going to be interesting to see in this first half, in, you know, in this, in this first season, is can she really be the star her father wanted her to be? Because that just, I think that very much haunts her, and I think we definitely do see that here. And I think the way that the public treats her, you know, they treat her like she's a celebrity. She doesn't feel like one, though. And that's something the show got done very well. I think the show, already, you can tell, knows its lead character very well. The other characters, okay, yes, but I think its lead character especially, it very well knows its character, and when a show knows its character, character, that's enough of a reason for me to call him in. I mean, that's something that's very impressive in a first episode, and I really did love that, and I think the uh, cinematography in the show, the show was so well shot, and especially the scenes with a baseball game, the way we would focus on just her and how she's feeling and her perspective, or, you know, focus on a crowd. I mean, it very much shows a show that's going to focus mainly on Jenny, so when we cut to some of the other stuff, like I said, I just wasn't as interested because it wasn't what was going on with Jenny. I mean, Yes, I like the Padres manager, but I the main character is what I want to see most of in this show. You know, I'm I'm fine with getting with other with some of the other characters having stuff to do, but right now I just didn't care as much because the main story was so riveting. I have to say, as a story, it was so interesting and it was really investing. And the ending made it that much better, knowing that he's not actually there because that scene by far is one of the stands of this first episode, without a doubt. But knowing that he's not there and that she's actually imagining him adds that much more emotion and depth to that scene. And again, we got a lot of depth with this character, and I'm definitely interested in going more in depth with her as the show goes on. Uh, but I think the cinematography really does play a part in that. I mean, the first scene, I think, tells us pretty much, just like Designated Survivor, the first scene tells a lot of what we need to know. Although it kind of tricks us. You're thinking that she's confident in herself, when really I think she wants to think she's confident. I don't think she really is. I mean, she seems to be someone who when she's brought down, she's brought to her lowest of lows, and when she feels low, she feels very low, but when she feels high, she feels very high, and I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see where that's going to go. I think the editing this first episode was fine. Like I said, it really did fly by for me, and overall, I really did love this premiere overall. I can't wait to see uh, where the rest of the show is going to go, and definitely, like I said, one of the most promising shows of the fall by far. 
So overall, guys, in my review of Pitch, let me know what you guys thought of this first episode overall. Where do you think the show is headed? Do you like the first episode? Do you like the characters overall? Did you like the twist? Because I feel like a lot of people are going to say the twist didn't really make sense. I think it added that much more to the story between, you know, uh, Jenny and Bill, and I can't wait to see more where that's going to go. But overall, guys, in my review, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you guys in my next video, which will be for the series premiere of MacGyver. And we'll see how this is going to be. Most likely, it's going to be me saying, all right, try an episode, and we're not going to watch anymore because I don't see myself really watching a lot of it, but I'm going to check it out just for the hell of it, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it, but I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.